Okay, so when I logged into YouTube today, I noticed this. This stupid thing. You see, I got a strike on my channel for a very dumb reason. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's a rule on YouTube. But look at what it was that... I got the complaint for, like, that, that's not even, that's not even in any way, shape, or form related to YouTube. Why would you do that? That was just one of my connected accounts. Why did you remove my Reddit account connection? I feel like that's just dumb. I mean, Reddit's terms of service are way less strict than YouTube's. Like, you shouldn't give a fuck about what happens on Reddit. It's not your platform. Yeah, because last I checked, Sunder, Peche, and Spez are two totally different people. Yeah. Seriously, though. Yeah, Google CEO, Sunder, Peche, he literally meets all the requirements to be considered an Indian scammer. But, like, this is just so fucking stupid. Like, why? That's, like, this isn't even YouTube's business here. I mean, yeah, sometimes I can post some stuff like that on Reddit. And, yeah, I may be in some subreddits like that. But that doesn't mean that... YouTube should be moderating that. Like, that's not YouTube's business. That's Reddit's business. Also, Reddit allows stuff like that, but YouTube doesn't. And I wasn't even showing that on my screen ever in one of my videos. Seriously. I'd probably give a million dollars to whoever can find any footage of me on one of those subreddits on one of my YouTube videos. Seriously. So what, does this mean I'm also going to have to remove some of my other social accounts? I just don't think YouTube should be allowed to do this. It seems like they're invading my privacy. And just like how 57 Precepts complained about privacy with my videos, I will complain about privacy with YouTube's TOS if I have to. I literally will. This will lead to a lawsuit if it has to. Seriously, I want this appealed and I want to be able to put my Reddit account up there so that way people who see my channel can easily find me on Reddit. Like, this is just so retarded. And it really seems like something like Sunder was high on shrooms or something like that. Seriously though, I do not. I did not deserve this. Plus, also, another big thing about this is that I have autism, and this right here, this here, I've noticed people with autism are more prone to posting that type of thing online. Seriously, I have actually noticed that. Heck, I even know some creators that put a lot of NSFW jokes in their videos who have autism. I mean, if you've seen some of the references to videos on my channel, if you've seen some of the references to other, video, to other people's videos on my channel, you might know who I'm talking about. Like, I think my newest video even has a reference to it. Well, what was my newest video until making this one? You know, the Stanley's Punishment Day video. In fact, when I first saw that I got a strike, I was like, oh shit, is this the Stanley's Punishment Day being removed? But no, that's not what it was. It was something much worse, though. Yeah. And speaking of Punishment Days, I think Sunder Pitch might 
get one if this keeps up. Seriously, I would make a video of Sunder Pitcher getting a punishment day if this keeps up. So please, don't let this lead to a lawsuit and a punishment day video being made of you. Because I know it's your fault, Sunder Pitcher, because after YouTube got a new CEO, it didn't change anything. And plus, other Google products have been stupid lately as well, such as Google Drive and Android. And also a little bit of Chrome, I'd say. Kind of funny, because the browser I'm using to view this, you can see, is Chrome. <laughs> But, yeah. Now you creators know what to watch out for when you see these types of things. This is Mel's best friend signing off, and no one's a better best friend than good old Mel's best friend. And let's keep it that way.